when are you ready, Christian? Hey, I've been ready, actually. So Bro. this is the kind of attitude we're bringing into this episode. Hello, boys. <laughs> hello, girls. And hello, NBs. Welcome back to the Judgiest Place on the internet. My name is Josh. My name is Rick. And my name is Christian. And we are the, the Judgies. Back in very spring colors today between us three. Yay. Look at that. Completely unplanned. Well, since this Sunday is Mother's Day, I wore my shirt that says Mother by Choice for Choice. Oh, I thought it said Mother by for Choice Choice. That makes more sense, though. Well, now I can never wear this again. No. <laughs> hey, that's your choice. Hey, so remember when we recorded the episode about the diaries and the journals and stuff? Yeah. And, and we said that when I listen back to this, I'm going to get mad. <laughs> yeah. I did. I yeah. did get mad immediately, and then he came home like 45 minutes after I finished it, and we got into a fight. <laughs> but, hey, that's, is, does that count as a manifestation from the podcast? Yeah. Technically, it does. Mm. Erica, ask me how I stay so on task and on time, uh, even though I don't... Uh, now that I don't have a job, how do I manage to get all my stuff done uh, for like the podcasts and stuff? How? Oh, I have a journal that I keep everything in to make sure oh, I get it all organized. Fucking fight you. This is crazy. Break my computer. This is fucked. This is crazy. Uh, He's ha he has holy, to search for it because he keeps it in holy hiding. Cow. Oh. Oh, uh, that. But that says planner, not journal. I named my journal planner. Oh, okay. It's pretty smart, so, but actually. As you can see, it's how I keep everything organized, and I know exactly what's going on. I'll sort of write down things I'm doing. Oh, your passwords. <laughs> things I've done. Things I will do. Editor. You got this. Hey, editor, editor you fill got it this. in with all the things, because these are blank pages, baby. <laughs> hey, but it's the thought that counts. I bought it the other day, but it was... We went to Walmart. Specifically, I was going to get like a planner so I can try to stay more. And then I also made fun of that on the podcast and you were like, I'm not doing that anymore. No, but it was fucking pouring rain when we came, like torrential downpour. It wasn't when we went into Walmart when we came out, it was. And Aurora had this, you know how you have a really good idea and then it sucks? Yeah. <laughs> she had a really good idea to, we had our plastic bag. She took another plastic bag and put it over the top of the other plastic bag. That way rain mm -hmm. wouldn't get in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it was raining so hard how hard was it? <laughs> it was raining so hard that <laughs> I was trying to pick the bags up and put them into the back of the car, but then I couldn't find where to grab on the bag because the bag was covering the handles. And so I had to take the bag off to, oh, to grab the handles, and then this got wet, and it kind of like fucked up the top. And now I don't want to use it. Oh, it's icky. It's icky. It's gross. It, it doesn't sit right. That does suck. So I'm on the Christian side. I don't like journals or people who do it. You know, his parents were giving me a hard time about it, too. Immediately when we started talking about it, she's like, well, diaries are for babies. They're for children. <laughs> hey, Marsha gets it. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. So she talks all this shit. And then, like, we that what was that, a couple of days ago? Yeah. And then we were over there today. And... She goes, you know, I really do think you should keep a journal for like this the, the important the things. The important like, things. <laughs> she's like, somewhere around here, I've got random pages and random notebook in random notebooks about you know various events, like when we went on vacation or you know yeah. whatever. And I'm like, this bitch. Well, it's not a diary; it's a journal and notebook. That's what she said. She's like, it's they're not the same. You just need to make sure you're doing a journal and not a diary. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> looks like the apple doesn't fall far from the That's tree. That's what I said. I'm like, now I, I now I see where hmm. Christian gets his shitty takes from. It happened multiple times. We went there today because they're watching Olsen. Well, Erica was a special guest on a certain thing. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And so we went over there after work. And it happened like multiple times where it's like an unannounced like hatred for something that me and my parents had. And it's like, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Yeah, that's what I said. <gasps> oh, you just scared me into opening mail that was sent to us to P.O. Box 58, Ottawa, Illinois, 63350. This one was sent to Joshua Hype Smith. We love that. Hey, don't open that. That's a federal crime if you open that. It's already half. Oh, because it's not addressed to me? Yeah. Very good joke. It is addressed to my address, which means I can snoop. And as I can snoop. <laughs> 
Or it, do, it does say or current resident of the P.O. Box. So let's see here. Oh, it's full of fun stuff. This is a magnet. And it has a it's a sticker magnet. Okay. Thought or like I guess you just, it's not a sticker, but you can cut out the magnet and it's a hand and there's ah. a little kid in there. Okay. Oh, I see the little For kid. Saint now. Jude. Ah. I didn't know that. That's but what the little kid is. A bunch is. of thank you stickers. Thank you. This is the story of a girl. This is for Emo Joseph over on FRJJPOD what Fridge the Pod. Hell? So we'll save that for that. This one is for Aurora. Josh can read on pod with a little key on it. <gasps> That's cute. And then this one's for... J- There's so much stuff. Oh, this one's for Rick. Hooray. And this one is for Action. You know it's for Rick because it's got a carrot on it. That's and it says Rick. Two There's weeks in so a row that stuff. a listener referred to me as Action. It's kind of hot. It's a little mysterious. Oh, Myster- okay. <laughs> mysterious me is first, a great Me first, me first, me first. Read name. Dear Rick, St. Jude keeps sending me address stickers, and I don't have the heart to throw them out, so I'm going to write letters. Cool baby. Fuck the sexist commenters who call you too political. Cool husband. Hope quitting your job has been a load off of you, sending you good vibes. (laughs) XOXO gossip girl. That's crossed out, and it's underneath it says Chaz. Chaz? Didn't we just get something from Chaz yesterday? Or last week, maybe chess. that's why they also call me Xgen. That's very, very possible. Mine says, "Dear Josh, my boyfriend is paying for my Patreon sub." Nice. Tell D at Star Star Y Joe, Dirty Joe. I subbed as he commanded. Oh, Daddy Joe. <laughs> I had to tell you since you're a landlord capitalist. Fuck J K. YouTube auto plays the pod nonstop, so I'm on involuntarily for listens of episodes. Perfect. Since I hey, hey we, we like love that. that. I put that as the as the automatic recommended on the end of every episode. Old, I love your game. Old dog. Whoops. Crossover fan mail. <laughs> I live with nine cats and four dogs. Only one cat is mine, so old animals are no stranger to me. My ADHD. <laughs> Is bad. I like when you write songs as a bit. That's all. Thanks, Taco Bellboy. P.S. I sent in the choking on dick sound. Okay. Okay, yeah. Chaz. Chaz writes to me, Dear Christian, gotta write Blocky for my boy. You are my favorite ADHD rep and judgy. By now, you have probably received the dead cat mug. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> okay. Hey, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's right, funny it's right and there. not creepy. It's right in the frame. Piss, piss, pissing in heaven. Your bits are the funniest. I love the soundboard. (laughs) Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Good one, Joshua. Thank you, Erica. Uh, You never need... You never need to chrome. Chrome shift edits. Hey. We're not chroma shifting anything. You bring the glimmer and the shimmer in with your personality. I humbly request bringing back the sound. Good joke. I liked it. Mm. It's a very short-lived sound. I drink boxed wine from the tap as a bit, but drinking alone is less funny. Also less funny when you realize your boyfriend might die during a tornado, (laughs) and you're so drunk you don't realize the severity of it. Okay, The next day, I had to scrub our slimy dead squirrel pool in the sun. Don't (laughs) quite know what that means. Well, the dead dead squirrel pool got dirty from the tornado. Lesson learned. Boxed wine is a headache waiting. True. That is true. Now the city is making us take down the pool and get permits. <laughs> Fuck the system. Hugs and pisses. Keep on keeping on. Chaz. That was a lot. And that- then they also have a 2023 stoner sticker for me. So if you if you got it, smoke it. Um, Chaz, nice. your your whole life needs to be a movie. This one says, "Dearest Aurora, nice." <laughs> XOXO, go gossip girl, go piss girl, Chaz. I love it. Wow, Chaz. that was a lot. Did you switch my fucking microphone stand? What is this bullshit? What? Are you pranking me right now? I didn't touch Are your... Are you fucking pranking me right now? I didn't freaking right yank your chain or do anything of the sort. I did move Erica's. It's insane that Erica's... Is just, it's just... I'm just saying it's just... I'm just saying it's insane that Erica's is standing Can up stiff. We'll save that for next episode because Chaz sent in a whole freaking smorgasbord. Thank you. If you want to send mail, though, P.O. Box 58. I don't know why. 613 And I like the way you said that. Smorgasbord? Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, we did I move- said I didn't. Did not. Oh. Like it. Smorgasbord. 
Moving on. Smorgasbord. We don't just uh, find, read little mail clips. We don't. Let me start over. No. <laughs> it's kept in. <laughs> it's, hey. Editor. Editor, please. <laughs> Editor's on his uni mandated break. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, we don't just read fan mail on this little podcast that we do. Sometimes we, we find silly little stories on the internet. And you didn't even say that we also podcast on this podcast. And we also podcast on this podcast. Sometimes Christian does that. Okay. And sometimes I do that. First story of the night comes from. Whoa. We're starting with the first one. It's so weird. I don't think we've ever done that before. Wait, really? Did I fuck up the like. You fucked up. Do you have allergies, Christian? Does his eye look is fucked? Is my eye fucked? Your left one is red, yeah. Yeah, he's I, been rubbing it. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I have, I've I've been having to like mentally be like, don't touch your eye for the last hour, hoping it would go away. I'll it, chroma, it has it. I'll chroma key you in a, an <laughs> eye patch. Hey, this one uh, ties in a little bit. It, this is almost planned. Coming from r slash am I the devil. Uh, have we had that before? I don't think so, honestly. Whoop. Whoop. I'm aware of it. It's basically just Am I the Asshole, but it's... Guaranteed assholes. Guaranteed assholes. Am I the asshole for calling my wife an unsympathetic bitch? <laughs> what if she... Okay, but what if she was actually being an unsympathetic bitch? Well, well let's, let's pump the brakes real quick. I have severe se- seasonal allergies. Okay. And I try very hard to not take meds unless I really need to. I prefer well, I, to let my body naturally fight stuff off to strengthen itself. It's the most man-written story. If if you'd been doing that, then you wouldn't have allergies. So, like, right? I'm you sorry, think? I was mumbling. If you did that yeah. for that long, mm-hmm. then wouldn't you think, logically, by that logic, that you wouldn't need, you wouldn't have allergies? The problem is he isn't eating local honey. Hmm. Hmm. You need to get those those micro pollens in your natural you know honey. What? The problem is he's a baby. Babies can't oh, have honey. Babies can't he's have a honey. Baby. Yep. Yep. The other day, my allergies were absolutely horrible because I'm a little baby. And my wife finally wore me down and convinced me. My wife. <laughs> uh, wore me down and finally convinced me to take over-the-counter medicine. What a bitch. <laughs> Unsympathetic. <laughs> How dare she? How dare she? Um, at the time, I didn't think one pill would be enough, so I ended up taking four, thinking that would really knock things out for the next few days. Okay. That's quite the jump. Especially if it's a decongestant. Yeah. Your nose is going to bleed immediately. I'm trying to see the hat, man. <laughs> Unfortunately, I end up feeling sicker than a dog, and I'm still tired and nauseous from this. My wife, on the other hand, is pissed off at me now. She's upset that she had to get up with our older kid and get him ready for school and miss out on sleep. A little backstory here is we also have a baby that is teething and going through a sleep regression right now. So our baby wakes up about four times a night. I'm a hard sleeper, so she's always the one that has to take the night shifts with the baby. She has to. But I typically get up to get our older one ready in the morning and get them to school. I told her that I'm sick. I'm I'm a sick little baby. I'm sorry, but I just can't help it. And to cut me a break for now, she responded that it's my own damn fault for being a dumbass. And I <laughs> knew how to read the box and where it said to take one every 24 hours. So what was I expecting to happen? I'm trying to get through this, but my wife is offering me zero comfort and understanding. And anytime I talk to her about how I'm feeling, she tells me that I did this to myself. I should have just followed the instructions, and she doesn't feel bad for me because it's technically not the first time it's happened (laughs) when I've gotten desperate to get my allergies under control. I finally had enough of her bad attitude and ended up yelling at her, telling her that she's an unsympathetic bitch and I'd rather suffer alone than listen to her put me down anymore. She said nothing back, but ended up sleeping on the couch with the baby last night, and we won't even look in my direct. And she won't even look in my direction today. So, am I the asshole? Yeah. I don't think you guys should be together. <laughs> I don't think he should be with anyone. What is going on in this relationship? <laughs> what a bad dynamic to hold. Yeah. How is the multiple times you've OD'd on medicine for allergies? Just take it regularly. Yeah. I I just I guess I've never thought like, hey, that didn't work good enough. I'm going to take another one. 
Oh, only even, with, especially with allergy medicine. He didn't even try one, and then right? He didn't he just he go just, straight just to four? four? Yeah. Well, one's only going to handle twenty four hours. I need to get this bad boy on my system for the next ninety six. This dude's this dude is treating allergy medicine like a twenty two year old does with edibles. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, we got to take four. Yeah. At the first, I didn't feel it the last time. Oh, I'm high off my balls for four <laughs> days straight. Interesting. <sighs> and it's just so insane. Like, how does it's just like the typical like toxic man. Yeah. yeah. The mindset of like, <laughs> I'll just power through it. And you got to feel bad for me because I'm choosing to power through it. Here's hey, Here's all the thing about Christian. I'm a power through it guy. We all are. We're men. But I'm not going to be a, you got to feel bad for me. Yeah. I am. You, 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 you yeah, yeah. Keep <laughs> it. Yeah. Keep it down here like a man. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like grumpy. Yeah. Yeah. Which is understandable. But I am a big old baby when You're I'm sick. like. <laughs> Please guddle me. I'm dying. Hold me. I'm I'm withering away. I've got the black lung, papa. Get that honey away from me. I'm a little baby right now. <laughs> I mean, I don't like honey. So honey. you're a baby all the time. Correct. Baby all the time. Aurora loves honey. I personally hate honey. I Except for when that. I use honey at checkout to save money on hey, my purchases. We do love we that. We don't talk about advertisers outside of the ad breaks. I love this honey. <laughs> <laughs> I love honey pop. Okay. I love this honey. <laughs> that honey right there. She even looks like honey. Oh, because I'm yellow? Yeah. Why do none of us like honey? What's going on here? It's gross. Aurora loves honey. Did it's I already say texture. that? It's weird texture. Like, in my head, I'm like, I should love honey. And then I try to go, mm. Yeah, not good. I like... I oh. like like golden grams. I like I honey flavored love, things. I do love some golden grams. Honey nut Cheerios. Honey nut Cheerios. Honey, I shrunk the kids. It's just but honey itself. Now the the little bear bottles. Very cute. Very great. The taste of the thing inside of it. Mm. Subpar. Also, have we fact checked it? Has anybody at all ever fact checked checked it yet to see if honey really doesn't expire? I feel like they say honey doesn't expire, and then it's like, you ask people, and they're like, yeah, no, I heard that, and it's like, okay, well, have we all just heard it, or is it a Well, truth? didn't they find honey in, like, an Egyptian uh, tomb, and it was, it had no bacteria on it? Crazy. Did it crystallize? I don't know. That's isn't the problem that just because it's, like, a high enough sugar there where it can't grow anything? Uh. I have no idea, man. I'm pretty sure that's a, a big thing that happens a lot. That's why bears never get sick. You never see bears with seasonal allergies. You never see bears with seasonal allergies. Hmm. Huh. It's pretty crazy. Go on. We have a tight episode, so let's get right on to this next story. <laughs> R slash parenting. Oh, is that a is that a whoop? Might be. We've had like entitled parents. I don't think parenting has made an appearance. Boo. Whoop. Is it embarrassing for your wife to run around and play tag with your seven-year-old kid? Absolutely. Divorce her. Disgusting. Why is she playing with your child? (laughs) Letting him experience bonding with his mother? (laughs) Excuse me? Just as the title says. Physical exercise? (laughs) Get on TikTok. Get on. Get that kid on TikTok. Follow the judges. <laughs> Just as the title states, he says I shouldn't be prancing around the park, even though that wasn't my intention. So I'm just wondering if it's normal or wrong, if an, or if adults <laughs> shouldn't be running anymore. I just don't know. We've been together for three years now. In my eyes, I was doing nothing wrong. You're not doing anything wrong. I get that you probably shouldn't go like all out or whatever. Or be like plowing kids out of the way. Oh. But you got to jog a little bit just to keep up with the little tykes. These little shits are fast. And if stuff jiggles, it jiggles. I can't help that. That makes me feel like he made a weird comment about. Yeah. Feels like a weird comment, right? I feel like there's not enough context on that. And then there's a little bit of an edit here because that's it. That's all. She just wants to know. I will say prancing is a little ridiculous to do. Why? What about. It's just a little silly. Kids think that's funny. What about skipping? I wonder if 
because if this was like 20 kids and then her playing tag, that's a little weird. It gives a little bit of the like, I would have went pro in high school if I didn't break my leg. <laughs> it's like, yeah. let, the, let the 20 kids play tag. Juke and breaking kids' ankles <laughs> you, and tag. You be referee. But if it's like her and like a couple kids. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Right? Like It's fine. <laughs> uh, edit here. Thanks, everyone, for the replies. I was honestly confused if this was even seen as weird or inappropriate because you just don't really see a lot of other parents doing it. He mentioned that it was common courtesy to know not to do that in the park. This is in regards to running or overdoing it, as he said. Makes the other parents feel like shit because they're not a good parent. And supposedly (laughs) uh, the child's mom agrees. Here's a little context here. Not her kid, it's her... Oh, new husband's kid. It's, her it's stepchild. a stepchild. Um, she's so, not the stepmom. She's the mom who stepped up. I'll say it. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Okay. She's the mom that got tagged in. <laughs> That's a good one. We were uh, supposed to tag team this marriage. You're not supposed to play tag with my kid. So uh, the son's mom agrees with the dad. I'm considering- Maybe they should get fucking married if they agree <laughs> over everything. I'm considering whether or not to show this to him to maybe show him that there are people that disagree with him other than just me. Also, I should add that I'm the step parent here. It's his kid. But I do see them as my own since they are a great kid. Also, I saw a few comments asking what I was wearing. And mm-hmm. I was wearing jeans and a t-shirt. So it was definitely far too inappropriate for tag. Upside down smiley face. That must be indicating a- sarcasm. Yeah, it must be a joke, yeah. Um, First of all, you don't use emojis on Reddit. Nobody yeah, does that. Very That's big faux pas. Yeah. S- secondly, I don't even know if I said firstly, but where was I going? Not to the park. Playing with kids. How old of a child can you participate in their gaming? As old as they allow you to play. Sixteen. Oh. I think my I think my issue is that there's not enough context here. About like, what? I think that they're f- they're framing this story in a way that like they're leaving out something had to have happened for the dad to like freak out. Nobody just freaks out over somebody playing tag. It's no, a- dads would do that. That's like. To me, when I read this story, it's like a dad. If if this wasn't a woman playing with a child, if it was another man, he'd be like, is he gay or something? Yeah. For him to call it specifically embarrassing makes it feel like it was a small thing that he's making weird. He's embarrassed by it. Yeah, but then for the ex-wife to agree. Well, they're probably. I just feel like we're they missing have to agree on information. Some stuff to be exes. Yeah, it definitely feels un- incomplete as a story, but. I I always think of this where it's like someday you're going to jump for the last time. Yeah. It's like if you're a parent of like parent age and like you still have the energy and like ability to play with your fucking kids, don't not do it because it seems silly. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking play with your kids because someday you're going to think like I can't run. Yeah. I can't jump. Well, that's what like a ton of these comments were or just be people being like, think back to like your favorite memory as a child. It's never like. Remember when my dad took me to that movie? It's like, remember when my dad played catch with me? It's like, <laughs> every time it's like, your parent doing something like childish with you. Yeah. Right. It's never like, that thing they bought me. Remember when they bought me my first Encyclopedia Britannica? <laughs> That's not it. I just had this conversation with Heather the other day, because she lives with her grandparents while she's in grad school. Because you vowed to never jump again, and you've hit your day. You've hit your final jump. Yeah, and they were outside gardening, and Heather's grandma got the hose out and was like squirting her with it, and they were like chasing each other around with the hose and having a fun time. And then the grandma went up to the grandpa and like sprayed him with like the jet thing of the hose, right square in the face, (laughs) square in the face. And he didn't think she was gonna do it, so he was like, you know, egging her on or whatever. And he. cursed her out and ran in the house locked her out and then filled a bucket with ice water and dumped it on her and they just like kept having like this whole water fight the Abs- whole day it was abs- very few, very cute absolutely embarrassing of them to do that That's so embarrassing. as yeah. adults to do that with mm-hmm. a grandchild oh in front of their grandchild in a park mm-hmm. cringe that's the other thing too is like 
What a, what a what the that's like the most normal place to play tag with a kid is in a park. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, oh, you played tag in a park? Keep that at home. It's like, what are you doing, man? Oh, heathen. You found someone who wants to be a fucking mother to your child. Why are you being weird about it? The jiggling comment's strange. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's something else had to have happened. But I, this, this to me, the context that might be missing, and maybe I'm inserting a little bit too much, I'm, I'm, I'm speculating. It seems like it's like a... 40 year old guy remarried a like 23 year old girl that's almost how i feel and it's like a young girl running around with the kid it's childish to be running yeah and he Mm. feels insecure about it yeah that maybe i'm reading into that too much no it makes sense that's kind of how i felt too how about one more before the break how about it it's your episode hey how about it I'm just asking for a general consensus. I'm, on I'm this. just I, saying it's your episode. We'll do whatever you want, babe. It is a tight so it's There'll let's be get breaks this one. wherever the hell I want. Are you editing? Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Can I say just something ridiculous and make you have to edit it? Yeah. No. That's absolutely <laughs> silly of you to do that. <laughs> That's so silly of you to say that, Erica. And if. <laughs> And if you don't like where the ad, where the breaks are placed, you can get it all ad free. Patreon dot com slash judges j d j s judges r slash am I the a hole? Oh, I don't think we've had a hole. Am I the asshole for continuing to sleep nude despite my neighbors being able to see into my bedroom? Hmm, a little um, bit. Everybody's got to be have a naked neighbor. A little bit. You know what? I think I'm the naked neighbor. You are the naked neighbor. <laughs> You, your house isn't super, very strange sentence. Your house isn't super look intuable. Yeah. Even with the new kitchen window? It's only but that specific. I guess you guys neighbor. are tall. But like your house sits up a little high because you go you go up a couple steps to get into it. So it's not like super look intuable. I guess that part is more so than. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing naked in your kitchen? Oh, the hallway runs right next to the kitchen. And when our closet was in Olsen's room. Mm. I had, you know, I was naked all the time. Also, it's my house. I'll be naked if I want. Naked in the kitchen is just asking for a knife to the boob. I'm a 28 year old dude and have been living it's in It's happened house. to me. You've got a knife to the titty? Yeah. Well, he's a boob. <laughs> so, yeah, he's caught a knife to the boob a little bit. Thrice. You got to have sharper knives. A sharp knife's a safe knife. Listen, once shame on me, <laughs> twice shame on me <laughs> third knife on boob i'm a 28 year old dude and have been living in my house for a few years now one of the main reasons i chose this place is because of my bedroom faced east allowing me to wake up in the morning sunlight most mornings i wake up before my alarm goes off just because the sunlight uh coming through my window wakes me up is this me you bought this house because you couldn't see the sunrise no my bedroom faced west <laughs> shit <laughs> Uh, There used to be a tree line that provided a natural barrier between my house and any potential neighbors. So I never saw the need for curtains or blinds along with uh, (laughs) along with the fact that they are expensive as hell for nice ones. They are. That's very true. Another very classic dude. Expensive. I I would not have. There were before Aurora moved in. There would not have been curtains on my windows. Other than the fact that when I moved in, the curtains were still on the windows. Yeah. But if there were not curtains on the windows, goddamn right, I'm not putting curtains Preach. up. They're so expensive. They're so expensive. And what the fuck is this where they sell it as a single panel? Yeah. So you have to what buy, fucking like, window has a single curtain on it? This is fucked up. That's very fucked They up. know what they're doing. This big, is fucked yeah. up. Big curtain is... It should be illegal. Yeah. It should be illegal. Where was I? Recently, my neighborhood (laughs) expanded, and most of the tree line my bedroom was facing was cut down to build new houses. That should also be illegal. So, boom. Then there's a house that was built right across from mine, and their window has a clear view into my bedroom. Well, they should put curtains up. I've always been comfortable sleeping nude, and it wasn't an issue when there were no neighbors around. Not long after the people moved in, the house over, they came over to talk to my... Over to my house... And pretty much told me to stop being nude in front of my window since his family can see inside my bedroom. A reasonable request, to be fair. But he wasn't nice about it. Okay, a slightly less reasonable request. But he wasn't mean either. 
a slightly reasonable request <laughs> just, to be sure just matter of factly like he gave me an order and fully expected it to be done like i was his kid or maybe his employee i think that's a you thing man <laughs> <laughs> you got dad issues i was somewhat surprised but understood his concern so i did make an effort to be more mindful of my nudity when in view of the window i stopped cleaning and making my debt i stopped cleaning and making my bed before getting dressed i'd hop out of my bed walk into my closet and at least put on shorts and then go about my morning routine that being said i still sleep nude and i occasionally end up being visible to the neighbors for a brief moment after i wake up the father came over again leading to an argument between us i told him i was trying my best to be considerate but there's only so much I can do and that, that it's my house and I'm not changing my lifestyle because they just moved in. It'd be amazing if you answered the door naked. <laughs> <laughs> he threatened to call the police and said I was being a menace to the neighborhood. Whatever the hell that means. Hmm. So am I the asshole for continuing to sleep nude even though my neighbors can see into my bedroom? I wonder if there's a... Is there any legal standings to like force him to not be naked in his house? probably not i don't, I don't think so i don't think like because like i know you as long as you're like yeah i don't know that's strange uh, it depends on if you live in a stand your <laughs> stand your ground state or whatever <laughs> the castle doctrine covers being just put in up your own curtains house. put up sheer curtains it'll just that'll like block enough of the details so people yeah. can't yeah. see you hanged off or they they make that um like, like privacy thing? film oh yeah like, you can just get it on Amazon, and it still lets all of the light through, but you can't see through it. You put on, like, bathroom windows and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's so many easy, easy solutions to this. And, like, he said him and his family, that makes me think they have kids. Yeah. It's, I walk around my house naked, I mean, not, like, all the time, but, like, so every now and then, if somebody came to my door and was like, I've been seeing you naked, I'd be like, I apologize. I will yeah. change my life for three to four months. Yep. And then yeah. I'll forget about it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly correct, yeah. I do... It is a weird thing where it's like, it's hard to tell, to gauge how much he's actually naked. Because it is like, if he sleeps naked, and it's like, there is a 30 second, second window where you might see him naked, it's like, Who was I don't watching? Know. That's yeah. what Just, my thing is. Like, why are you staring in, into my windows? Yeah. It almost yeah. seems like now he's looking to see if he's naked. Like, yeah. how, how close are these houses? Yeah. Are they, like, right on top of each other? Doesn't seem like it, considering there used to be a tree trees between them. Yeah. I mean, could be. But there's, a, I mean, I guess we don't know where they live, but normally well, there's, like, have six feet in between um, property, lines. property lines. So it's, like, at least a 12-foot barrier, typically. But still, 12 feet away from, I mean, you can... Most people can see pretty clearly at 12 feet. Hey, and with my donger. <laughs> visible from the International Space Station. There's two things visible from the International Space Station. The International Space Station and Christian's Way. It's accurate. It's accurate. But yeah, I just feel like depending on how close their windows are, I just look, why are you looking in their window? Yeah. And I, I say this as like a very nosy person. Like if I'm driving down the street and I can see that, oh, I'm I can, watching what you're watching. I'm watching what you're watching on TV. <laughs> you don't like that. No. I, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you about it, but <laughs> <laughs> it just. I mean, yeah, I feel like it's a really weird. It might be close to, and everybody is just like weird here. Yeah, yeah I don't know. It's like well, you shouldn't be there. Like, if he's truly just getting out of bed and getting dressed, and there's like glimpses of nude, that whatever. Yeah. But then if the other person's still seeing it, it's like, what's going on? Yeah. What's going mm -hmm. on here? And it, from, I mean, I'm, from the way that he's telling his side of the story, he's not intentionally like standing in front of the window. Doing yeah. like yoga. Naked. Yeah. Or like he's not out in his yard doing, you know, sunning his butthole or whatever. But I, yeah, sun the balls. Health conscious. Gets you more tea. More tea. Helps you prevent COVID. Break. Okay. Welcome back. This side of the podcast. Here we are, where we do a little thing. Like we used we used to call and we still call ba -da -ba 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 Circle Jerge. That's where we just kind of fuck around. And if you don't like it, we then jerge around this circle. Get the fuck out of here. 
Get the frick out of here. We're coming up on three years. You know that? Two episodes from now. Whoa. Three years. Ew. Do you have something special? I planned? guess it'll be it'll be the end of three years. It'll be the fourth the beginning of the fourth year of the judges. Do you have something special planned? Maybe. Do we need to get something special planned? If you guys want to put in any amount of effort, I'm not going to stop you from doing that. Should we <laughs> Should we go to like Goodwill or a secondhand store and, and get like old 80s prom dresses and tuxes and dress up? No, not for just a random one. Maybe for episode 200. But, it's a, okay, okay. but not for 156. Look at me trying to put in just a tiny amount of effort and I'm getting scolded. But we do stuff on 50, 100, 150. Well, we didn't do it for 150. Wow. But because what's what's 150? It's nothing. It's it, nothing. It's it's a milestone. To what? It's, it's we do that's the piss. almost to 200. That's the piss on episode 52, episode 100. What? No. Why would we do no, something no. on episode 50? We did, epi- we did something on episode 50, I think. Shut the fuck. And then 52, right, and then we did 100, 104. Okay. And now we're doing on 156. And we'll also do something on 200 and 206. Is that right? 208. Sure. Hey, guess what I got for this week's Circle Jurge? What do you got? We're going to do a little rating 1 out of 10. And this one, hey, this one might freaking suck for the editor. No. But we're going to listen to a couple. Erica, didn't you have a Circle Jurge? I, I do. I got a couple different <laughs> countries National emergency alarm system. <laughs> and we're going to rank them one out of ten. Okay. Why? Because <laughs> sometimes we're digging deep in the barrel of thoughts for <laughs> Christian to come up with the circle jerk. You know when you're dr- driving and there's a song playing and it has a siren in the background? Yeah. This is going to be nightmares for people who live in these countries. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> They're going to be like at church listening to our podcast and just hear like, wah, wah, like what the fuck? <laughs> I... Let me just say, I think you guys are in for a little bit of a surprise then. Okay. We'll start with the good old US of A. Wait, is this coming out on the first Tuesday of the month? Very good joke. Although I think that's only for our, our specific area. Yeah, he's starting with us. So Perfect. But not all of US. Does that's all not of all- not all, all of the US has to do a tornado not- siren on the first Tuesday <laughs> of the month. I don't think all of US has tornado sirens. <laughs> they should. Not places that don't have tornadoes. Hey, if you don't, you this is a what tornado it's... anywhere. Yeah, but it's a waste of taxpayer money. Taxpayer money. Don't get me started. Yeah, there it is. This is also the National Weather Service alert. This is an. Um, this is the EAS alarm for the United States. It's terrible. It's what grating. do we think of that? Uh, I mean, okay, so are we rating on how we like it or how effective do we think it is? Uh, they could both factor in a little bit. I'd give it like a seven for effectiveness and okay it's not it's pretty ear grating yeah but that's why it's a seven it's because okay. like it works it makes you think there is <laughs> yeah. an emergency yeah but is that just because we're so used like, to it trained to know that that's the emergency sound yeah. i mean i think if i heard that for the first time it would be higher but because i'm so used to it it's only a seven okay what do you think um i definitely agree that i think that it there's an emergency and I need to like pay attention. It scares the shit out of me when it like, cause that's, oh. that's what plays on our phones. Like if there's like yeah. an Amber alert or bro, like the two in the morning. Oh one. man. If you're going to kidnap a kid, have some common decency, do it at like 6 PM. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, fuck was I going to say? Oh, that's like an Illinois seven, but like a California four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, I think that grade is going to, can continue with the rest of this. This one's coming from Italy. You got it. Oh fuck! <laughs> He's got an ad. I got a fucking ad. <laughs> you anime. Don't pay, you don't pay for YouTube Premium. That that goes that to, rocks. That right? has to have been made into a like a techno trance. Oh, for sure. Dance beat. That doesn't that just feel so European? That's so European. That makes me not want to tip my waiter. <laughs> That's a really good joke, Josh. <laughs> I that, didn't think it was. That makes me want to pay for water. Hey, that makes me want to have a room temperature beer. <laughs> that makes me want to smoke a cigarette all the time. I hated all of your stereotypical jokes. Hey, that makes me not want to care right. about my job. You want to know much. what it makes me want? Makes me want to dance. 
Doesn't yeah. make doesn't make me scared that there's an emergency yeah. happening. What if it's a dance emergency? Okay. <laughs> okay. Hold up. The that's scary. That's gonna be my emergency. first dance song right there. What do we think out of the <laughs> ten? That's like a probably like a nine. I'm just gonna give it a nine in case. I don't remember all of them. There might be a better one. That's a pretty good fucking alarm, right? I think that's no. like a four. Yeah. I don't think that's a good alarm. Because it's too catchy. It's what too if you like... got an amber alert and you had that and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> That's Silver what I'm sedan. Saying. It's not. It's not effective. License plate to... X seven nine four. <laughs> it's not effective to me as like a yeah. hey, pay attention, we're about to die situation. That's a hey, we're about to fuck situation. Yeah, okay. we're about four to... beers in. That goes hard. Yeah, I'm sober and it goes. Do hard. we need to put this on our party Spotify playlist? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> that might need to go on our soundboard. <laughs> All right, here's Iceland's emergency sound. <laughs> Okay. That's got like hints of police siren. Yeah. It's okay. I still think it's too like bubbly. It's silly goofy coded. It's, it, it's, it's definitely silly goofy. Silly goofy. It, it sounds like hey, all my all my youth boys, have you ever bought a laser gun from the dollar store? <laughs> and it's just got a random it's got four <laughs> random sounds and sometimes you squeeze it and it's just that exact noise and you're like I guess that's a laser sound. That's what sounds. That's what it sounds like when Robot Jones comes. <laughs> Good one, Joshua. Yeah, your your joke was very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> that's like when it, you have a try me button on an ambulance in a, in a, yeah. <laughs> in a toy aisle and you hit it and you're just like, that doesn't sound like an ambulance. <laughs> I guess I is see there where a, they're coming from. Is there a law that says you can't make it sound <laughs> like an ambulance? <laughs> uh, uh, so that's like a five. Okay. It's a little scary, but it makes you think there's something going on, but you go like, is this a joke? Am I get is this a prank? It sounds like someone fell in a 1930s cartoon over and over again. <laughs> this one comes from and this one's top secret. North Korea. That's terrifying. That one's it. pretty concerning. That makes me feel like I'm in a horror movie. Yeah, that sounds like they're, yeah. I that, didn't like that one at all. I, I feel like it's not effect. I don't know. It doesn't feel like an emergency, though. I feel right? like that oh. I feel like that wouldn't travel distances in the air. There's no high pitch to it. I get mm. what you're saying. Wait, does high pitch or low pitch? Low pitch travels better over mm. air. Longer it's distances. Less, it's longer right. wave, wavelengths. So I guess it's actually a 10. I think the DPRK is actually pretty chill. <laughs> well, they got that one right. Whoever that person that did the interview with Joe Rogan and leaked all the secrets about North Korea. Oh, uh, she's the one that brought this noise to America. Uh, what's really? her name? I don't know what her name is. Who cares? Wasn't didn't it all come out that she was just like making up lies? <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> don't get me started on her. <laughs> oh no, I rubbed my eye. That was a bad mistake, guys. Got, like, Something goop park coming out of it too. Your last name is Park. Uh, you got it. I got goop coming out of my eye. I love hearing that. All right, we got like three more here. This one's from New Zealand. It's kind of like Iceland, but a little bit more concerning. That's pretty concerning. That is concerning, but it also makes me feel like a 90s cartoon, like superhero cartoon Cartoon that's like okay. a transition scene where it's like, woo! Like okay. In and oh. out. Christian played again. Batman, Joker has just escaped on East 69th Street. It's like, that's what it sounds like. It's like a, yeah. like a classic 90s animated, like... Alert, like something bad's happening. Yeah. Okay. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Okay. Japan. That's Zelda. That's you can't, not scary at all. You can't fool me and say that's Japan's national alert system. This, I give that a one. This that, came from the EAS Alarm YouTube. They just, YouTube channel. Somebody just picked up 25 rupees. <laughs> that one's just like an, your alarm, the alarm on your phone's going off, right? <laughs> yeah. that's, a, that's not even an alarm. That's your ringtone. Yeah, I'm yeah. expecting to hit snooze on that bad boy. We're we're gonna hit decline on that's that like call. A three. Yeah, I, I would gave agree. it a one. I don't think that's scary or effective at all. What did we give North Korea's ten? Because it just gave me anxiety. I don't even remember <laughs> it being an alarm. <laughs> it just made me panicked. This Who's is this? Israel. It's kind of classic. It's like a it's whale. A blue whale. 
Oh, things are getting better. It's actually, it's not scary out anymore. There's no more purge. Everything's okay. Yeah, and everybody's getting shot and everybody's dying and everybody's windows are getting broken. Um, that's, that's pretty decent. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's a good take on like the American one almost. Yeah. yeah. I don't know which nice. came first. No, I mean, it doesn't it's sound like the subtle. American like emergency. It sounds like our tornado sirens. It sounds sirens. like our tornado sirens, yeah. It, is that just like an air raid siren? But a little... Okay. A little more calmed down. A little bit chiller, yeah. This one's Brazil, and guess who got another ad? How embarrassing for you. It's nuts. Brazil nuts. Boo. That's like a World War II era, like... Someone's screaming. That's like someone's getting bombed. Yeah, yeah that, that, one's, one's, that one's scary. That's that one's scary. scary. That one, to have that come on and then have it be a thunderstorm warning is insane. <laughs> yeah. Like, if I'm in my car and I turn on my radio, it's just... That feels like we're getting bombed. Thunderstorm. <laughs> it's like, fuck. <laughs> I'll Flash stay away flood. from windows, but it's because I think there's a fucking explosive about to come down. <laughs> yeah. I give that one a nine. That one was nine. scary. Okay. Final one, Mexico. Avocados from Mexico. This one's kind of cute. Oh. Gets you then? And we're back to that. Okay. This feels like home. That felt like like aliens. Like yeah. aliens are coming. That one felt like a nice little mix yeah. of a little bit of the Spanish from Italy, a little bit of the American from the United States and we're getting it mixed up in Mexico and we're having a little silly goofy time. Do you but think, also I'm a little worried. Do you think they speak Spanish in Italy? <laughs> I'm going to end it, Josh. The circle here just ended. <laughs> that one was a 7.2. It was a slight improvement to me over America's. Over the United States of America. That's fine. It was fine? No, that was good. I, I liked that a lot, Christian. Did we have fun with that? A lot. Yeah, that's fine. You know what sucks? When I'm like, thought comes in my head, I go, this will be fun to do because we had storms recently. So yes. I got the alarms and I was like, what do the alarms sound like in other countries? I had this idea. Guess what? Giant fucking TikTok trend a year ago. Yeah. Huh. So that I've fucking sucks. Seen, I don't remember like the specific sounds, but I remember seeing some of them on TikTok. I just couldn't imagine any of those noises except for the Mexico one coming on before a thunderstorm warning. Those all were tornado warnings to me. <laughs> I could get behind that idea. Do you think they have hurricane alarms? Mm-hmm. But do they even work when it gets wet? Yeah. Oh, okay. They think, of, you, they think of everything. How do we know that? Because our tornado sirens still work when they get wet. It's windy when it tornadoes, not rains. Hmm. Preach. Uh, interesting, because that usually happens with a thunderstorm. Oh, all that. But is, that's a hurricane. That, that precedes and postcedes. Yeah, postcedes. That's absolutely correct. In the eye of a hurricane, there is quiet. You know what? That's when you know it's getting sketchy out. It's because it's, it's raining really hard, and then it gets no rain, and, and then it's kind of green out, and you go, uh oh. It's because the tornado is really thirsty and drinks up all the rain. <laughs> that's what it, they say it sounds like a freight train, but it's just a really big. <laughs> That was terrible. I hated it. Wind gusts of up Let's... to 200 miles an hour. <laughs> Noises of up to 112 decibels. Let's see if you it's hate this one. Cuffing season and all the girls hey. are leaving. And get a bean boy. I want a bean boy. Give me a bean boy. It's cuffing season and all the girls are leaving. Get a bean boy. I want a bean boy. Give me a bean boy. Bean, bean, bean boy. You got, <laughs> you got a future in music, babe. That's a, that's so the good. national alarm system for England. Uh, you were diving in Josh to read. Well, Josh, let me tell you. All I did was search sound on the top of the you thing. You fucking piece of shit. That <laughs> hey. was in Josh to read. I do like to dive into Josh to read when I'm like, hey, I need a good story. And I'm running out of time. I go, hey, I know Josh already. <laughs> he already ran it through the filter. <laughs> but this time I was just like, oh, I need a sound. And I went to the sound folder and like the last one was like from March. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to type sound. And I went down like three and I was like, this one's really good. I've got like seven in Josh to read. Seven sounds. Oh, that's <laughs> I, where they all went. I sort of I sort of suck in all the good sounds. <laughs> 
<laughs> I get it. I get it's it. It's pretty rude of you. Hi, Judgy. Hello. Hello. You can say my first name if you end up using this sound. So, Sasha. Sasha, that was great. Thanks. Very fierce. Big fan of the pod. Also really embarrassed to be sending this, but it has been stuck in my head ever since I listened to the sode where Christian calls Josh a little bean boy. <laughs> Episode 60. Wow. I'm sorry I eat beans. Insane. I'm, where where has the time gone? Where has the time gone? Almost 100 episodes ago. I'm catching up on the show still, so maybe someone has already done this and I haven't heard it yet. People have said that sent that exact cover in a million times. Uh, so You're not original. original. Uh, in which case, you can just ignore this then. I do realize that. Uh, do realize that that episode was forever ago for you guys. Yeah, about a hundred episodes. It, ago. <laughs> it was for me too because I'm pretty close to being caught up now. Mm. Gives you an idea of how long I've had it in my head to send this. Thanks for all the laughs and helping me get through my work day. Hugs and pisses, Sasha. Hugs and pisses, Sasha. That's crazy. Because hugs and pisses is relatively recent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they are almost caught up. Yeah. That was probably in the last 20 episodes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got to be. At least within like the 2023. So how many has that been? Oh, 70,000. Like 13? Like 140, I think, was around the new year. Yeah. (laughs) Is there a story? (laughs) We're in the fifth month. That was just the sound. The sound always prefaces our listener submitted story this one i might have gotten from josh's folder who knows <laughs> and if you want to send in a sound or a story do that at judgespot at gmail.com put listener submitted sound or story in the title and please tell us in the first freaking three words if you can use your name or not or else it's not going in josh to read it's getting relegated to it's... stories to hopefully get picked at some other date yeah Oh, God, I have to fucking type this person's name in. I'm in the wrong folder now, Josh, because of you. You know how when I, when you guys, and it's in my episode, and then all of a sudden I'm trying to find my story, and then you guys go, hey, you got to find your story, and then you yell at me? Why aren't we doing that to him? It's expected out of Christian. We, we want you to be better like than that. that. Yeah. You could just also, I've been it. yelling at him the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of been flustering me. It's kind of my whole thing. I'm is still kind of hearing the North Korea alarm sound, too. So if we could just cool it down for a second. <laughs> hey, judges. Hello. Hi. Please don't read my name on the pod. Thank you for telling us very quickly in that. This story is so embarrassing. I don't want anyone recognizing me from it. My name is... Xi Jinping. What? Xi Jinping. Okay, my name is Xi Jinping. What do we got? Male or female? Or NB? Female. Hmm. Bathsheba. Bathsheba? Yeah. Bath he- for short. Bath. Bathsheba? It's Hebrew. Oh, bath for short. My name is Bathsheba. Ricky, apologies if I spelled it wrong. You are my fave. How'd you spell it? R I C K Y. Well, that's how I spell it. Honestly, I just. I don't care. I do. You're my fave, but this is the poop story, so it has to be read by Christian. Oh, fair enough. Hey, I read poop stories sometimes. Wasn't in Josh to read either. And please read it on the pod if you can. I'm a broke college kid, and I'm unable to sub to the Patreon right now, and I really want to hear the reaction to the story. Don't listen. We don't want broke people listening to our podcast. Shut the fuck up, Josh. There goes all of our listeners. Upside down smiley but, face. So you know that it was actually a, a sarcastic indicator. Editor. <laughs> I, 17 female at the time, met this guy, 18 male, during rehearsals for, for my high school's upcoming musical. High school I was, musical. I hate musicals. <laughs> Canonically. Canonically. I was the assistant director, and he was the stage manager. Ooh, risky. And we hit it off really well. We went on a couple dates and started officially dating. At the time of this story, we were going on probably our fifth date, so we're still getting to know each other. The school year had just wrapped up, and he had gone on a quick vacation, so we hadn't seen each other in about a week. We decided to go to this ramen place for lunch that was about 30 minutes from our hometown. While we're sitting there eating the ramen... I get the urge to poop, so I excuse myself to the restroom. So far, so good. And here's 
where I fuck up. As I open the door to the bathroom, I decide to let out a little toot. Why? You're so close. You're a little so pressure close. Pressure relieving too. Just close no. the door. As you can probably guess, this is not a fart. Yeah. I sharded myself. Yeah. I can feel the warm liquid soaking my underwear. Oh my so God. I run to the toilet and pull my pants down. And my cute red lacy underpants is a warm liquid shart. Flux of diarrhea have now landed on my jeans. And I sit there for a few minutes on the toilet in absolute shock. I would have instantly started crying. Wondering how What else fu- do you do? <laughs> <laughs> wondering what the fuck I'm going to do about this. After a good couple minutes, I spring into action. I pull off my underwear, wrap it in toilet paper, and throw it away in a <laughs> I small think, trash can. Yeah. I don't think you could say after a couple of minutes you sprang into <laughs> action. <laughs> it doesn't really line up timeline-wise. <laughs> Uh, into the small trash can by the toilet. I then force the rest of the diarrhea out of my body. <laughs> Mind over matter, baby. I'm, <laughs> I forced all the diarrhea right out of me and cleaned off my nether regions. Oh, my God. Finally, I take my jeans to the sink and I wash the diarrhea out as best as I can. I then wash my hands and waddle out of the bathroom, going commando in a pair of jeans for about 15 minutes after I had just walked into this place. This is why you wish you had bidets in public places. Yeah. I was just thinking about that, but I don't know. That kind of grosses me out. It's fair. I'm never using your guys' bidet. Coward. I never, I have, <coughs> excuse me. I've never used yours. Kirsten's used ours. I've used it a lot. I've drank out of it. It's really refreshing. I walk up to him feigning a stomach ache. He asks me what's wrong and I tell him I need to go home because I fool up and I'm not feeling well. We get our food to go and he drives me home. He was really sweet and kept insisting that he still wanted to hang out and he can help me feel better. Oh, I wonder if that means sex. No. But say, of, say you puked in your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, having just pooped myself, I wanted to go home and take a shower. I tell him I feel sick and wanted to be alone. He sadly dropped me off and I run inside, finally safe and managing to save myself a small part of my... Finally safe and managing to save a sel- small part of my dignity. Right before I opened or closed his car door, I thought I could sneak a burp. <laughs> I projectile vomit all over his car. <laughs> when I walked inside, I'm greeted by my parents, where my dad proceeds to tell me how he also had explosive diarrhea earlier that day. We conclude that we both had bad hot dogs and got food poisoning. Not possible. No. Nope. First off. No. Nope. Hot dogs can't give you food poisoning. It's barely food. It's barely food. The guy and I have officially been together for two years now. Hey. Oh. He knows about the story now. Oh, good. And he finds it really funny. So there's a happy ending there. But let me know if you guys want to hear more embarrassing stories. Always. I have so many. Yes, send them in. It's actually a joke in my family because of the sheer amount of embarrassing stories I have about myself. Anyways, love you guys and the pod. I love you all equally except Ricky, who I love a little bit more. <laughs> Sorry, boys. That's and fine. here's a hot take for you. Get more Aurora on the G Dang Pod. Interesting it's take. Been a bit since she's been on. Love Bathsheba. Bathsheba. Bethesda. Bethesh. Beth. Yep. I think since the last Rachel episode was probably the last time Aurora was on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's in the background of a couple. That's true. That's true. She's in the ta- technically she's in the Tampa episode. That's true. Classic theater kid shenanigans. Classic right theater here. kid. Getting ramen, such a theater kid thing. So theater kid. Shitting yourself at the ramen place, so Absolutely theater, theater kid. kid. That was such a Sweeney Todd moment of me. <laughs> How does that? That was such a Grease the musical moment of me. Unfortunately, it was kind of a Book of Mormon for me, too, because my underpants were very holy. Oh, come on. Come on. No. Christian, please tell me it was a cerebral joke. That no. was so cerebral. No. Did I tell did I say on the pod I went to a Mormon uh like it wasn't a funeral, but like a, a like in memoriam service? Awake? No, tell us more about it. It wasn't really awake. Does awake need the body there? I guess he, I guess I mean he was there in like there was an urn. He was there in spirit. Nobody called it awake, but it was at No, my joke's not cerebral. He's uh, there in spirit. No, because I got it right Good away. one, Joshua. Erica. Thank you. Uh, 
but it was in a Mormon church okay. because Aurora's family, well, I guess it's just her grandma's Mormon, but whatever. And very weird place, very weird people in there, believe it or not. Huge, the Mormons? Yeah. I and, hear they're cool and normal. And huge Trey Parker and Matt Stone fans there. They had their Crazy. their playwrights everywhere. Just said Book of Mormon all over the place. Oh, that it. was the joke. Well, they have a play called the Book of Mormon and their holy text, it says the Book of Mormon on it. Insert laugh. Yeah. And the guy, the bishop who was given the thing, terrible at his job. No, Riz. I wanted to get up and be like, I got it, bud. He <laughs> he was like, <laughs> he was professional podcast. I'll take over. He was from reading here. off of a piece of paper, like the, like whatever he was saying. And it probably said insert name here if I had to take a guess. And he was like, we're um, gathered here today. Um, we're gathered here today. And it's like, dude, come on. No way, right? <laughs> and he would talk like a normal guy, like a normal Midwest guy. And then anytime he said the name Jesus Christ, which, believe it or not, was a lot because we were at a Mormon church, Shut he would go, up. just completely just go, uh, in his name, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and he, it would like happen like every time, no matter what his tone was before, he'd be like, and we give thanks to our, our the Lord's Son Jesus Christ every single time. It was so funny, and you know we're at a sad thing, so I couldn't laugh out loud. But you know I I, book, was, I, I put was a, in. Do you think you got dared to do that? That's the thing. It's like th- they're Mormons; they don't have a sense of humor, so probably not. Mm. What epic prank? Yeah, it's a very strange scenario. I do have another story, but now that I'm talking about pranks, I got to get this out here. Do we think mooning is like? The perfect prank. No, you guys love mooning, though. You don't I think have mooning's never fun? mooned you? Yeah, but I know you love mooning. I do. I do love to moon. <laughs> I, mo- I mooned my mom and Heather on vacation. What's yeah, like a, that's the last I heard about. What's it? a better I prank? Press my cheeks up on that glass. <laughs> what's a better prank? I just feel like it. I think uh, like doing the goat or whatever it's called too far. No, a yeah, classic moon. Don't you, I feel like you, you pushed st- that onto me. I've never been pro goat. What is that? That's when you stick your balls between your legs too while you mean somebody. Yeah, and so you can see the balls from the back. From the back. Why do men have to ruin everything? It's true. I mean, it's it, okay. Hang on, I do need to defend goading a little bit. It is very funny. <laughs> oh, but mooning's <laughs> not funny. I'm just saying. I was talking to my coworker about this. I think mooning's the perfect prank. It's like the right amount of like gotcha, but it's still like a little wholesome. It's like a little self-deprecating in it as well. Wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a better prank than mooning? I'm sure there is. I've consensually mooned you. I stood naked. I don't remember. I stood. <laughs> does that mean it was on your bachelor party? We were we got into the hotel and I stood. Ah! We were on like the 53rd floor of a really nice hotel, and so I stood naked in front of the window, and Christian took a picture of me naked in front of the window. It was a really but like from picture. he was from the back, so he didn't see my bits and dangles. It's just yeah, it's him like standing in the window naked, and it's so funny. <laughs> It's such a funny picture. Um, I I mean I guess I don't like mooning, but I guess you're right. Like I can't think of like a even another prank. Yeah. Not a single one. Like not one that's like fun or like good mutually. You know Whoopie what I cushion? mean? Yeah, but that, um, okay. There's a lot it's of variables very, that go into a whoopee cushion. Though. It's hard what to pull about, off. What about the cushion. the shocking pen? I hate it. Terrible. I hate, I hate that one. Who the fuck put that in our house? I don't know. Have we talked about that on the pod? I don't think so. We've had a shocking pen in our house since we moved in. At some point, you know, every house has like a little, you know, mug of pens or whatever. And one day, I'm getting a pen out, and I shocked the shit out of myself with this clicky pen. <laughs> like that is so fucking funny. I have no idea. Nobody has ever come forward and said, hey, it was me that put this shock It's pen. like evil at this point. And like I do realtor. love to give it to people. Like anytime my mom's like, hey, can I get a pen to like write this down? You're I an hand evil it person. to her. It's evil. so funny. You're a bad person. Uh, Let me know how the you know infernos what? of hell you treat know you. And- I, my favorite prank is tripping people. <laughs> tripping. Now that's rude. But here's what I do is like, there's a really classic like, when someone's front leg is forward and they pick up their back leg to step forward, Dude, you can swipe. kick the side of their heel and then their own foot hits the back of their foot and it's so funny. No, and it never, that is it rude. It never results in anybody falling. You just sort of go like, and you get a little embarrassed. That's better than like the like hitting you in the back of the knee. That's too far. Yeah. 
Now, yeah, table topping, it's a weird parabola because table topping is funny again. Table no! topping is funny. If you if you table top me, I'm I'm giving the you I'm thing, buying you a beer. The thing with table topping is it's if impressive. a single person pushes you down, rude. But now if you split between two people, <laughs> now it's kind of like that's class action. And it's impressive. Work. It's like you you managed to not yeah. have me see the person behind me. It's no. pretty good. No, I hate it. Splashing in a pool, classic prank. I hate getting splashed in a pool. <laughs> I'm a little gremlin when I get in a pool. Hey, we had a you late session. You are a little gremlin you in the pool. Kind of, you are. <laughs> it really brings something out of you. It was a good time. That's all I have to say. It should, we're at 110. Should we get another story in here? Yes. Why did, Why were we even talking about pranks? What did, What brought up mooning? Well, he said it felt like he, he was getting pranked by the guy saying, Jesus Cross. No, uh. you, asked, <laughs> you said, do you think somebody told him to do it as a prank? Oh, no, I said dared him to do it. Something like you that. You said something about it. You know what I saw on TikTok today or yesterday? Or Wait, really quick. Back this on mooning. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to like it. I swear. Yeah. After a concert when I was like, I don't know, 14, maybe. It was 14. We went to an IHOP and it was it was like, I don't know, midnight, one o'clock in the morning. And it's the only time they're open. Yeah. And there was, you know, that little alcove that all IHOPs have, like that when you first go in and you have to sit out there because there's always a line and you always have to wait forever. This drunk dude, very short, very wide, his friends were outside smoking and he mooned them. He was wearing a thong. Not even kidding. That is. Oh, he mooned them. Okay. He mooned them. Very funny. Had a thong on. Good for him. Do you think he had on just for the, the prank. prank or? I don't know. Personal choice. I think everybody who goes to IHOP has a thong on. That's one of the rules. Yeah. The P in IHOP is panties. I have on panties. <laughs> All right, catch this and throw it back. Oh, thank you. Thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. It was original. Yeah, I also saw. Ow! <laughs> Holy shit. Ow! <laughs> I'm hurt by that. I think I honestly might have a nosebleed. I pranked you. <laughs> <laughs> Physical abuse is not a prank. Oh, but table topping. <laughs> okay. When you, you okay. If we both threw it, like block it. I don't know why you did it. He never blocks it. You just always hit the Are mic. You okay, I'm so sorry. I'll never throw it that hard again. I gotta figure out how to triple flip you up right now. <laughs> How That's powerful. Do, how do they do it? It's <laughs> something like this. <laughs> That's powerful. <laughs> Fuck you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're, hey, this is the tight episode. R slash am I the asshole? Oh, you're still reading. Am I, am I the asshole for refusing to give up my Neopets account to my niece? Yeah, this sounds a little sad. Okay. So I'm upset and confused, and I told my sister and brother-in-law I would post here to settle this argument. So they'll be seeing like this and reading this. Weird family dynamic. <laughs> okay, but you have to post on Reddit. For those of you uh, that don't know, Neopets is a virtual pet game site that was really popular around the late 90s, early 2000s. It kind of died off for a bit, but has recently started to get popular again. Has it? I've uh, been playing for years. My account is over 18 years old now. They tried to put in uh, uh, like uh, NFTs and shit in like 2018 because they got bought out by some fucking corporation. Yeah. And it, it gained a little bit of like nostalgia, but it's nothing. It's dead. They ruined okay. it. Uh, my account's 18 years old, and I have the stats to reflect that. Pets, avatars, stamps, galleries, trophies, you name it. Do you have any paintbrushes if you don't play it it may not mean a lot they don't say anything about paintbrushes josh mm, i'm sorry or... <laughs> if you don't play it it may not mean a lot and not to brag but i have a rather impressive account due to the fact that i've been playing for so long now i'm a 34 year old female with no kids and my sister 32 and brother-in-law 34 have a daughter who's 11 who's been very sickly her entire life <laughs> I'm not going into exactly what's wrong with her, but she's been in and out of hospitals a lot in her young life. Oh, no. I don't like where this is going. She recently had to go back for a few weeks. At the same time, I recently learned that she's been starting to play Neopets for for a few months to help pass the time when she's not feeling well. She's really gotten into it. And from what my sister says, she talks about it all the time. 
she was so excited she was so excited to learn that i also play and we talked about it when i visited her i looked up her account and gifted her a bunch of stuff expensive stuff that would be extremely hard for a new account to get i'm talking in-game stuff using in-game money which can be kind of hard to earn in large amounts the amounts like i have guy goddamn one percenter of neo points uh long story short she asked how i can afford this stuff and i sent that i sent to her it's worth millions of neo points and how i have all this stuff in my account that's when i explained to her that i've been playing this game for decades i've done every plot event that's a single decade plus eight years well she did the first decade now she's in her second decade of playing i haven't done two decades though Is your kid one year old? We just had this. No. We had a very similar semantics at the beginning of this episode <laughs> where we're about to go. We've been doing the po- we're doing the podcast for three years. We're about to hit our three year mark, but now we're going to be doing it for four years or some bullshit like that. We already had this argument earlier in the yeah. podcast. Guys. Honestly, this podcast is getting too repetitive and boring. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, my niece got upset at the huge difference between our two accounts and asked for more stuff. Okay, a little entitled. When I told her no, she started crying and told my sister and brother-in-law about it. My brother-in-law came over and asked if I could gift my account to, to my niece for her upcoming birthday. Insane ask. Which she will have to spend in the hospital. So? <laughs> Get better, loser. Neil Points doesn't cure your cancer. <laughs> he said it would mean the world to her. And I said no. I've had this account since before she was born. Before I even met my brother-in-law. I don't want to get rid of it. And I still play it literally every day. He got mad and tried to guilt trip me. I'm an adult and she's a child. It would make her happy in a rough time in her life. I'm happy to help her learn the tricks and trades of the game, but I'm not giving away my account. (laughs) This like sickly little kid doesn't have the time to pour hours in to (laughs) grind on fucking ice cream scoop or whatever the fuck it's called. Hangman. (laughs) He offered to buy it off of me. And I still said no. Oh, you got to take that off. Now he is super pissed and got my sister and parents on their side. I'm being hounded every day for this and being called an asshole because it's all my niece will talk about. And she really, really wants it. I feel bad because she's just a little girl in the hospital. And I feel guilt. Uh, I feel bad because she's just a little girl in the hospital and guilty for not giving it. I offered to send a bunch of stuff to her account again, but she wants my stats. So she's... So she's not treated like such a newbie who doesn't know anything, uh, know anything like the other players do. I feel <laughs> guilty for this, but I want to keep my account. So am I the asshole? Tell her to call uh, call Make a Wish. Oh, that's they'll a- grind it out. They'll grind out a Neopets account for you. Yeah, that's funny that, that she literally wants it so she can like LARP as like a more experienced player. Just why is an eleven year old in chat rooms like talking to other players? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's that should be more of a red flag in this whole situation. Well, that was normal back when Neopets started. Yeah, people got groomed on Neopets. <laughs> I'm just saying that I'm shouldn't sure happen. I'm sure they still are. Yeah, it shouldn't happen. Yeah. Uh, now this person is writing as somebody who's one of the most oppressed minorities, which is gamers. And <laughs> it's the, the sister and the brother-in-law and the parents they don't understand that. Like, while it may just seem like little pixels, like this is something that she did put a lot of time and effort into. Yeah. And it's kind of weird to just be like, oh, just give it over. Like, you wouldn't say that if it was like, like, like tennis trophies. They'd be like, well, no, my kid wants them. So that way she can say to all of her friends that she's really good at tennis. Yeah. So, like, it's a little strange, but also just ask, maybe to like talk to the kid and be like, well, what do you want a rainbow jub jub? I'll give you a fucking rainbow jub jub. How about that? Oh, you want a stars and I stripes kits. Scorchio? Then I'll give you that. This is so impressive. I'll just give you that. What's the dragon's name? Isn't it like a Ryu? The dragon that just looks like a classic dragon, like a Spyro almost? I think so. Th- that's a Scorchio. Oh. There is a Ryu. I think that's the dog. Okay. What's the little alien guy? Never played Neopets. You never played Neopets? <laughs> oh. I never played Club Penguin either. Oh. Lupe is the dog. Or World of Warcraft. Or... Show Ryu is the little baby Show dragon. Show Ryu. Yeah. Grundo is the alien. Grundo. I had a Grundo. I had, um, it was like almost a little Tamagotchi thing, but you could, you, how did it even go? It's so old now that I can barely remember it. 
it was like almost like a tamagotchi but you could open it up and i had a little like play thing and i had a grundo that's pretty little... i think i had one of those with the gellert and i got me in a neopets for oh, neopets like two was months. sick neopets was fucking awesome and then i probably learned about runescape yes i was, like, I was gonna Fuck say this i loved neopets until i found out about runescape i didn't play runescape either yeah no. that was the boys game i had a girlfriend in runescape once huh yeah <laughs> R.I.P. Skylar, you're probably a dude anyways. Did did you break up with her? <gasps> I think because like the, she might think that you're still together Legally? to this day. Oh no. Everybody knows Quick. that RuneScape relationships are are the real deal. Did you guys dance in Varrock together? Maybe, I don't remember. <laughs> Honestly, it was so kind betrayed. of a polycule because <laughs> it was it was me, me, Burke, and Skylar. <laughs> Quick, Erica, find us where they can find us. <laughs> Tell us where they can I embarrass myself more. <laughs> find us on RuneScape and other platforms. Uh, we are. Uh, uh, we're not on RuneScape. Not yet. Not until this episode drops. Oh gosh, it's at Judgy's Pod. That's J U D G I E S Pod, and you can find us on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Patreon, Instagram, uh, some other things probably. RuneScape, Neopets, Letterboxd. Uh, GTA 5 online. It's Tucky Chrissy on what's that other website? OnlyFans. <laughs> OnlyFans. <laughs> what's OnlyFans? I forgot. Anyway, uh, if if you want to send us mail, you can send it at PO Box 58, Ottawa, Illinois 61350. Send us listener submitted stuff on on Gmail dot com. Gmail dot com. Okay, bye. Have a great week. We love you. I have to go ice the bridge of my nose. Sorry. Hope you don't get a black eye. I'll be okay. I didn't think I threw it that hard, but... You fucking... You, you really ding-dong got me. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> I really didn't think you'd throw it again. You hey. thought wrong! <laughs> Stop! Hugs and pisses. <laughs> this is getting rowdy. <laughs>